Hello students, welcome back. So we are doing laws of indices, isn't it? And in our previous videos, we have completed till exercise 7b. And today we are ready to go for exercise 7c, okay? So this is question number one of one. Question number one of one from exercise 7c. Let's solve this. We are asked to evaluate. Evaluate means we are asked to find the value of this expression, okay? We are asked to simplify this expression and find the value okay so let's begin here we have 9 to the power 5 upon 2 isn't it 9 to the power 5 upon 2 so we can write this as 3 squared because 3 squared is 9 3 into 3 3 multiplied 2 times gives us 9 3 squared is 9 into this power 5 upon 2 we copy as it is okay minus this 3 the power of 3 is 1 okay into if there is no power we should understand there is power 1 into 8 to the power 0 8 to the power 0 is 1 isn't it any number any number to the power 0 equals to 1 except please remember this except 0 to the power 0 is not equal to 1 0 to the power 0 is undefined okay accept this condition accept this condition 0 to the power 0 is undefined apart from 0 any number to the power 0 is always 1 any number means x to the power 0 equals to 1 okay y to the power 0 equals to 1 m to the power 0 equals to 1 100 to the 1000 to the power 0 1 okay any number to the power 0 is 1 1 to the power 0 equals to 1 any number to the power 0 is always 1 other than 0 itself okay 0 to the power 0 is not 1 0 to the power 0 is undefined so 8 to the 8 to the power 0 is 1 so this minus comes here now we have 1 upon 81 to the power minus 1 by 2 isn't it 1 upon 81 to the power minus 1 by 2 this is actually minus 1 by 2 the power minus 1 by 2 is applied to both 1 and 81 both the numbers in the numerator and denominator because this power is outside the bracket and these two numbers lies within the bracket isn't it so this power applies to both 1 and 81 that means 1 to the power minus 1 by 2 upon 81 to the power minus 1 by 2 so you bring this number to the numerator the sign of the power changes to plus 81 to the power 1 by 2 upon this 1 to the power 1 by 2 is 1 to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 becomes plus 1 by 2 okay so 1 to the power any number please remember this okay 1 to the power any number equals to 1 1 to the power any number this is number n u m b e r 1 to the power any number is always 1 which means 1 to the power 0 1 1 to the power x 1 to the power 100 1 1 to the power x equals to 1 1 to the power any number is always 1 1 to the power 5 1 1 to the power any number is 1 so 1 to the power minus also 1 to the power minus 1 by 2 1 okay 1 to the power minus x equals to 1 1 to the power minus x equals to 1 1 to the power whether it is a positive number or negative number whatever be the power fraction or whole number doesn't matter whatever be the power 1 to the power any number is always 1 1 to the power any number means let it be fractional number negative number positive number zero whatever be the number one to the power any number is always one okay so one to the power minus half is one actually we don't need to write this okay so one to the power half is also one one to the power minus half is also one so this is 81 to the power one by two isn't it so instead of writing all this what we do is just we invert the number we take the number from the denominator to the numerator and from numerator to the denominator 81 81 by 1 whole to the power 1 by 2 isn't it the power changes to plus 
when we bring the number from denominator to numerator 81 by 2 81 to the power minus 1 by 2 becomes 81 to the power 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 and this 1 to the power minus 1 by 2 becomes 1 to the power 1 by 2 isn't it this so i hope you got this what i mean to say by this is if p by q to the power minus half okay if p upon q to the power minus half you can straight away write q upon p to the power half this minus 1 upon 2 becomes plus 1 upon 2 now the power the sign of the power changes because the number from the denominator is brought to the numerator and from the numerator is taken down to the denominator okay so this minus 1 upon 2 becomes plus 1 upon 2 now this 2 and 2 can be cancelled so 3 to the power 5 minus 3 ones are 3 minus 81 means 9 squared isn't it 9 squared is 81 1 by 2 so 1 to the power 1 by 2 is 1 every number has 1 in the denominator we don't need to write 1 here 1 to the power 1 by 2 is 1 so we don't write that number because every number in the denominator has 1 okay so this 2 and 2 is cancelled this 2 is in the numerator and this 2 is in the denominator so 3 to the power 5 3 to the power 5 means 3 multiplied 5 times 1 2 3 4 5 3 is a 9 3 is a 9 9 into 9 into 3 so 81 into 9 into 9 is 81 into 3 3 1 is a 3 3 8 is a 24 this gives us 243 minus minus 3 minus 9 to the power 1 is 9 this 22 is cancelled so 9 to the power 1 is 9 so this is 243 243 is positive plus and this 9 and this 3 both are negative so we add up this 2 number 9 and 3 becomes 12 minus 12 9 and 3 we add up this two number and minus 12 okay same sign means we must add the numbers now 243 is positive and 12 is negative so we must subtract them so 3 minus 2 is 1 4 minus 1 is 3 this 2 comes down here sign of greater number comes so this is greater 243 plus sign comes here so this is the answer for question number 1 of 1 I hope you got this. Let us do question number 2 of 1. Evaluate. We are asked to find the value of this expression. Okay. So let's do this. So we have 64 to the power 2 upon 3. Isn't it? 64 means 2 to the power 6. Isn't it? 64 means 2 3 is 6. 2 2 is 4. 2 16 is 32. 2 8 is 16. 2 4 is 8. And 2 2 is 4. 1 2 3 4 5 6. 2 multiplied 6 times gives us 64 which means 64 can be written as 2 to the power 6 into this power 2 upon 3 2 upon 3 minus minus cube root okay so root a can be written as a to the power 1 upon 2 isn't it root a is written as a to the power 1 upon 2 so cube root of a is written as a to the power 1 upon 3 fourth root of a is written as a to the power 1 upon 4 so these are the rules of indices isn't it cube root a means a to the power 1 upon 3 okay so we have cube root of 125 125 isn't it first let's find the factors of 125 5 to the 10 5 to the 10 11 12 5 5 to 25 5 5 to 25 5 multiplied 3 times gives us 125 so 125 means 5 cubed 1 to 5 1 to 5 means 5 cubed 5 multiplied 3 times gives us 1 to 5 so into cube root means cube root means cube root of a cube root of a equals to a to the power 1 by 3 isn't it cube root of a means a to the power 1 by 3 so this is 1 by 3 cube root means 1 by 3 and 5 cube means 1 to 5 okay so minus so we have 1 upon 2 to the power minus 5 if we bring this number from denominator to the numerator the sign of the power changes to plus 5 2 to the power plus 5 okay 2 to the power minus 5 becomes 2 to the power plus 5 
plus 27 means 3 cubed 27 means 3 9 is a 27 3 3 is a 9 3 multiplied 3 times 1 2 3 times gives us 27 so 27 is written as 3 cubed into minus 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 into now we have p by q whole to the power minus 1 by 2 isn't it so if we take from denominator to numerator and number from numerator to denominator that is q by p then what happens the sign of the power changes to 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 becomes plus 1 by 2 isn't it this power is actually p to the power minus 1 by 2 upon q to the power minus 1 by 2 so we take q to the numerator becomes q to the power 1 by 2 this minus power changes to plus okay this p to the power minus 1 by 2 we take to the denominator p to the power 1 by 2 1 by 2 so q upon p same power you can write q upon p by q upon 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 isn't it i hope you got this now 25 upon 9 means 3 squared upon 25 means 5 squared 25 means 5 squared 9 means 3 squared 3 3 is a 9 5 5 is a 25 so i took 25 to the denominator 5 squared 9 to the numerator 3 squared this means this sign of the power minus 1 by 2 becomes plus 1 by 2 isn't it so this is 3 1 the 3 3 2 the 6 so 2 to the power 2 to the 4 2 to the power 4 minus 3 and 3 cancelled 5 to the power 1 minus 2 to the power 5 plus this 3 and 3 can be cancelled so 3 to the power minus 1 by 2 3 to the power minus 1 by 2 sorry 3 to the power minus 2 which means 1 upon 3 squared isn't it 3 to the power minus 2 3 to the power minus 2 means 1 upon 3 squared sign of the power changes to plus if we take the number to the denominator into now we have 3 squared 3 squared 3 squared into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 this power applies to both numerator and denominator upon 5 squared into 1 by 2 this 5 squared is this 1 by 2 comes here also okay so 2 2 2 2 cancels so 2 to the power 4 means actually uh, 2 to the 4 16 isn't it 2 to the power 4 means 16 2 2 2 2 2 multiplied 4 times 1 2 3 4 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 into the 16 so 2 to the power 4 means 16 minus 5 to the power 1 means 5 minus 2 to the power 5 means 32 isn't it 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 1 2 3 4 5 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 16 to the 32 okay plus 1 upon 3 squared means 9 plus this 3 is 1 oh this is plus or into into isn't it this is into into okay so into this 3 upon 5 3 to the power 1 3 to the power 1 means 3 and this 5 comes here okay 3 1 is a 3 3 3 is a 9 so we have minus 5 minus 32 plus 16 this means 32 and 5 both are negative we must add them 32 5 is 37 37 is negative now and this 16 is positive so 37 minus 16 gives us 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 21 so this is minus 21 isn't it 32 and 5 becomes minus 37 plus 16 minus 37 plus 16 D different sign we must subtract them minus 37 plus 16 is 21 and sign of greater number comes here so plus we have 3 1 the 3 3 is a 9 isn't it 1 upon 15 1 upon 3 5 the 15 so let's take the lcm of the denominators 
21 upon 1 we must assume here 1 because every number has 1 in the denominator so let's take the LCM of 1 and 15 the LCM will be 15 which means 1 into 15 gives us this 15 15 into 21 15 into 21 is 15 ones are 15 5 15 into 21 okay 15 ones are 15 that is 5 1 in hand 15 twos are 30 30 plus this one is 31 minus okay plus 15 ones are 15 so 1 into 1 is 1 let me continue here 315 plus 1 315 is negative and this one is positive so 315 plus 1 is minus 314 divided by 15 isn't it so let me divide this number 314 divided by 15 so 15 20 is a 215 is a 30 this 0 comes here 300 so this 4 this 1 this means this can be written as minus 20 20 whole this 14 remainder goes to the numerator and this divisor comes down okay so this is the answer minus 20 whole 14 upon 15 i hope you got this now let us do the next question and now let us do question number three of one okay so we are asked to find the value of this expression evaluate means we are asked to find the value of this expression isn't it so p by q to the power minus 1 by 2 suppose this is the fractional number given to us and the power is negative what we write is we bring this number from the denominator to the numerator and we take down to this number from numerator to the denominator and the power minus 1 by 2 becomes plus 1 by 2 isn't it isn't it minus 1 by 2 becomes plus 1 by 2 okay so if the power is negative what we do is we just reverse the number we bring the number from the denominator to numerator and from numerator to the denominator if the power is negative minus 2 the same thing q goes to the numerator p comes down to the denominator the power minus 2 becomes plus 2 okay sign of the power changes when we invert the number invert means when we take down the number from numerator to the denominator and we bring the number from denominator to the numerator so we have minus 2 power okay in fact this is minus 2 upon 3 to the power minus 2 isn't it so to the power minus 2 means 3 by 2 to the power oh, to the power plus 2 whole cube this minus 2 power becomes plus 2 when I bring this number from denominator to the numerator that is 3 and take down this number numerator to denominator 2 okay when I invert the number the sign of the power changes into 1 upon 3 to the power minus 4 means 3 upon 1 to the power minus 4 becomes plus 4 into 3 to the power minus 1 means 1 upon 3 into 1 upon 6 means 3 into 2 3 to the 6 okay so minus a whole square if the power is even number then this minus becomes plus a squared okay are you getting me i hope so so this is because minus a whole squared means minus a into minus a so minus into minus is plus a into a is a squared so minus a squared means a squared that is positive if the power is even number then this minus becomes plus suppose minus a to the power six, 16 minus a to the power 16 or minus a to the power 64 16 and 64 both are even numbers isn't it 16 and 64 both are even numbers so the sign of um, sign of this a changes to plus a to the power 16 plus a to the power 64 if the sign is minus and the power is even number we just write plus okay if the number is already plus then no need to change the sign it remains plus only but if the sign is minus and the power is even number we just write plus 
okay but if the power is odd number like a to the power 3 this means the if the power is odd number then sign does not change minus a cube minus will remain minus plus will remain plus okay so minus a to the power 27 this 27 is also odd number 27 is odd number isn't it so if the power is odd number this minus will remain minus to the power 27 okay i hope it is clear now if the power is even number the sign will is change to plus so this 2 is even number this means minus 3 by 2 becomes 3 by 2 so this power 2 remains here and this 3 into 3 to the power 4 so 3 to the power 4 here we have 3 and 3 into 1 upon 3 squared into 2 isn't it 3 into 3 is 3 squared 3 3 2 3 means 3 squared 3 3 is a 9 and 3 squared is also 9 now this gives us 3 squared and cube means 3 2 3 is a 6 upon 2 squared and 6 squared and cube isn't it so 2 to the power 2 3 is a 6 2 3 is a 6 what i mean to say is if a to the power m whole to the power n then we write a to the power m n isn't it we multiply this two similarly two three is a six these powers are for both the numerator and denominator so two three is a six three to the power six and two to the power six two three is a six into three to the power four minus okay this three squared if i bring to the numerator the power changes to minus minus two into one upon two 3 to the power 4 minus 3 squared 4 minus 2 this 3 squared if you bring to the numerator sign of the power changes to minus 2 and we have to subtract the powers isn't it so we have 3 to the power 6 3 to the power 6 3 to the power 6 4 minus 2 is 2 3 squared 6 and 2 we must add the powers because same base 3 and 3 same base and these numbers are being multiplied if the bases are equal and there is multiplication sign in between them we must add up the power so 6 the 6 4 minus 2 is 2 plus 2 whole upon here we have 2 to the power 6 here we have 2 to the power 1 both are in the denominator isn't it so 6 plus 1 same base 2 and 2 so powers will be added 6 plus 1 if a into a then we just add up the power a square power is 1 1 same base means power gets add up isn't it so 2 to the power 6 2 to the power 1 they are being multiplied same base 2 to the power 6 plus 1 now here we have 3 to the power 6 plus 2 is 8 isn't it divided by whole upon means divided by 2 to the power 6 plus 1 is 7 so this is the answer 6 plus 2 is 8 and 6 plus 1 is 7 okay i hope you got this now let's do next question okay now let's simplify this question number 2 of 7c so we are given this expression we are asked to simplify and find the simplest value okay so let's do this so here the power of 3 is 1 okay power of 3 is 1 3 no power means we should always understand if i write 2 that means the power is not mentioned here means the power is always 1 okay if any number is written without power means that number has the power 1 so this 3 has power 1 into 9 means 3 squared 3 squared means 9 isn't it 3 3 is a 9 so 3 squared means 9 so this is n plus 1 and plus 1 this n plus 1 is this and instead of 9 i am writing 3 squared minus this 9 is 3 squared into 3 to the power 2n now we have same base 3 and 3 so we must add up the power 
here we have 3 to the power 1 here we have 3 to the power 2 n plus 3 same base 3 in 3 and they are being multiplied so their powers will be get added the powers will be added isn't it so 3 to the power 2 n plus 3 plus 1 this plus 1 okay minus 9 means 3 squared n plus 1 3 squared is 9 so n plus 1 comes here as it is so 3 2 into n 2n plus 2 1 ja 2 2 into n 2n plus 2 1 ja 2 now this 3 and this 3 equal number and they are being multiplied so their power should be added this one and this so plus 1 minus here same base 3 and 3 and they are being multiplied so we must add up the power 3 into 2n plus 2 2n this 2n plus 2 okay in the denominator we have 3 into uh, sorry 3 to the power 2n plus 4 2n plus 3 plus 1 is 4 minus 3 into 2n plus 2 2n 2 into n is 2n plus 2 1 2 isn't it so instead of writing plus 2 plus 1 straight away I write 3 to the power 3 plus 3 okay 2 into n is 2 n 2 1 the 2 plus 2 and this plus 1 we add up and make 3 so now here you can see 3 to the power 2 n 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 isn't it so let's take the common 3 to the power 2 n from the numerator and denominator so if 3 to the power 2 n is taken common what remains within the bracket 3 cubed isn't it 3 cubed 3 to the power 2n into 3 cubed 3 to the power 2n into 3 cubed means same base power gets add up 2n plus 3 so when we multiply these two numbers we must get this so 3 to the power 2n is taken common from here 3 to the power 2n now 3 cubed remains within the bracket because 3 into sorry 3 to the power 2n into 3 cubed gives us this minus 3 to the power 2 n is taken common so 3 squared remains within the bracket 3 squared whole upon 3 to the power 2 n from the denominator also we take the common out and 3 to the power 4 remains within the bracket minus this minus comes here 3 to the power 2 n is taken out so 3 squared will remain within the bracket let me continue here this 3 to the power 2 n and 3 to the power 2 n same number we must cancel them so 3 cubed is 27 isn't it 3 cubed means 27 3 into 3 into 3 3 multiplied 3 times minus 3 squared means 3 3 is a 9 upon 3 to the power 4 means 81 isn't it 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 3 multiplied 4 times 1 2 3 4 so 3 3 is a 9 3 3 is a 9 9 9 is a 81 isn't it so 3 to the power 4 means 81 minus 3 squared means 9 so 27 minus 9 gives us 17 minus 9 is 8 and this 2 becomes 1 18 sign of greater number comes here plus 81 minus 9 is 72 isn't it this becomes 11 11 minus 9 is 2 this becomes 7 7 here so 9 2 is 18, 9 8 is 72, 2 1 is 2, 2 4 is 8. This gives us 1 upon 4. So this is the answer for question number 2. Simplify. I hope you got this. Let's do question number 3 of exercise 7c. Solve. Solve means we are asked to find the values of x and y. Okay. There are two variable numbers here. One is x and another is y. So we are asked to find the values of x and y from this equation. This is the given equation to us. From this equation, we are asked to find the values of x and y. So what we do is, first we find the factors of 2 to 5. 2 to 5. 5, 4 is a 20. 5, 4 is a 20. Means 22, 2 in hand. 5, 5 is a 25. 5, 9 is a 45. 3, 3 is a 9. 5 multiplied 5 multiplied 5 
uh, sorry 3 multiplied 3 gives us 2 to 5 5 times 5 times 3 times 3 gives us 2 to 5 when we multiply these numbers we get 225 so this is actually 5 squared 5 squared and this is actually 3 squared 5 into 5 means 5 squared 3 into 3 means 3 squared isn't it so let's do this 3 to the power x minus 1 into 5 to the power 5 to the power 2y minus 3 equals to 2 to 5 means 5 squared into 3 squared 5 squared is 24 5 squared is 25 and 3 squared is 9 25 into 9 gives us 2 to 5 or see here this 3 and this 3 same number 3 3 equal base and there's equal to sign in between them so their power should be equal because there is multiplication in between these two numbers okay we must see this also if there is plus sign or minus sign we cannot do like this if there is plus or minus sign in between the two numbers we cannot apply this rule since there is into sign in between these two numbers this and this this and this so we can equate this basis 3 and 3 these two bases are equal so their powers will be equal 3 3 so x minus 1 equals to 2 x x minus 1 equals to 2 and here 5 5 isn't it same base 5 and 5 and they are equal so their powers will be equal 2y minus 3 equals to 2 or x equals to we have 2 in the right hand side isn't it let's take minus 1 to the right hand side plus 1 and 2y equals to 2 minus 3 we take to the right hand side becomes plus 3 or y equals to 2 plus 3 is 5 this 2 comes down to the denominator or x equals to 2 plus 1 is 3 so the value of x is 3 value of y is 5 upon 2 so this is improper fraction because denominator is smaller than the numerator so we must convert this into mixed fraction so this is 2 whole 1 upon 2 isn't it 5 whole 5 upon 2 means 2 2 is a 4 5 minus 4 is 1 so 2 whole this one goes to the numerator this divisor comes down here 2 whole 1 upon 2 so the value of x is 3 and the value of y is 2 whole 1 1 2 okay i hope you got this this was for today thank you so much i'll continue the remaining questions in the next video